and let's try out some numericals now to understand it better when a light of 4000 degree angstrom all right falls on a photoelectric emitter photoelectrons are emitted so from here what we are passing is 4000 degree angstrom is falling on this photosensitive emitter photoelectric emitter so when a light of 4000 degree angstrom falls on a photoelectric emitter photoelectrons are emitted photoelectrons are emitted for another emitter light of wavelength 6000 so another emitter light of 6000 is provided all right so a wavelength of light of wavelength 6000 is provided degree angstrom is provided is sufficient for a photo emission so in first case it is 4000 degree angstrom in second case it is 6000 degree angstrom all right so these are two photosensitive yeah photo emitting plates all right so what we have got to find is work function of these two emitters so in case of first emitter it was irradiated with wavelength of 4000 degree angstrom and in second case it was with 6000 degree angstrom all right so we have got to find work functions so what do we do so we know work function is h nu which is hc over lambda so work is equal to this this is just to make you aware with these symbols that we use for work function all right or we can also say the relationship between work function and lambda inversely proportional work lambda is inversely proportional to work function so since we have been given wavelength so we are correlating wavelength with work function all right if it would have been other way around we have, would have correlated work function with wavelength but anyways we know the relationship is inverse inversely proportional all right so i just jotted down here lambda is equal to hc over hc over work function all right so if so this this was the this was the formula this was the formula lambda goes up work function goes down so we get this lambda is equal to hc over work function all right just see this part so this all right so lambda inversely proportional to work function we have been given two wavelengths two lambdas so what we do is lambda one over lambda two lambda one is inversely proportional so jot it down lambda two also inversely proportional so jot it up values given so one calculation we find w2 work function for uh, we find the relationship is 3 is to 2 all right. this is what is the solution now in a photoelectric effect the work function we know the symbol i just have jotted down again to make you aware of a metal is 3.5 ev photoelectric effect the work function of a metal is 3.5 ev now i just jotted down here when we are talking in terms of work function and photoelectric effect the work function is this so this h nu so we have been provided with work function 3.5 ev all right emitted electrons can be stopped by applying potential of minus 1.2 v so this is what is the kinetic energy right so this is what is the kinetic the negative is why because we have changed it by commutator with the help of with the help of a commutator we are changed the terminality now it's when we change the terminality this is the cathode this is the anode that's the reason why we jotted down over here as negative so this is the kinetic energy then the energy of incident photon would be incident photon h nu work function the work function h nu zero that is with th threshold energy work function phi or threshold energy h nu zero is 3.5 given so very simple so what they have provided is w zero that is work function is 3.5 ev kinetic energy also has been provided it is 1.2 ev and we know the relationship also to convert it into joules one electron volts corresponds to 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules so what do we do we just put in the formula simple formula that we had derived so work function plus kinetic energy substituted those values what we got is 4.7 ev 
Now that EV has to be converted into joules. So we know the relationship. 1 EV corresponds to this much. So 4.7 EV unitary method. I will multiply it. So we got 7.53 into 10 is minus 19 joules. Alright. So see this is how. I always see whenever you are doing physics. As soon as the theory is done. Go into numericals. And when we are when you are doing numericals. Understand the formula well. Now go into derivation again. How did we know? For example, where as soon as I felt that this is the equation, again get into the derivation of this equation. How did we derive? That would make your physics strong. So with numerical, when you get a formula, get into the derivation, understand the derivation better. And when you are applying numerical to that derivation, your clarity increases about the topic. All right, so that's how physics is to be done. Let's understand this sum. Photoelectric work function. I just given app just to make you understand. I have give, I am giving all those uh, with uh, symbols of a metal is one EV. All right. So it's given one EV. Light of wavelength lambda three thousand degree F falls on it. The photo electrons come out with what velocity? All right. I hope you understood this. Photoelectric work function of a metal is 1 EV. Alright. Uh, so photoelectric work function means that's the threshold energy required for electron to be emitted from here. Alright. So that is H nu zero provided. 1 EV. Fine. So photoelectric work function of metal is this much. Light of wavelength lambda 3000 degree angstrom falls on it so source the light which is there we know it is hc over lambda so vh is constant c is constant which we have already seen and lambda is variable which has been provided so we also know h nu the energy of photon that is striking the metal plate and we also know h nu zero the work function the energy required for electron to be emitted from plate. All right. So let's get into. So the photo electrons come out with what velocity? So we have got to find out with what velocity are the electrons being moving from anode to cathode. All right. So formula same. H nu is equal to H nu zero plus k. That's what we do. Work function plus half mv square. Half mv square is equal to. Again we do swapping from here to there. H nu minus H, uh, H nu minus H nu zero. All right. So what we did is we wanted this, so we took it there, so it became H nu minus H nu zero. So we broke this up into H C over lambda minus the work function W zero. I'm just swapping all this so that you get used to these all symbols, right? This means the same. All right. So now what do we do? We just substitute it, right? So we know here. W0 phi is equal to H nu 0 is equal to 1 EV is equal to 1.6 now in electron volts. So in joules it would be this. And mass of electron we know is 9.1 into 10 to minus 7 kg. Lambda given as 3000 degree angstrom and we know 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to minus 10 meter. So 3000 into 10 to minus 10 meters. And C velocity of light also we are aware it is 3 into 10 to 8 meters per second. Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 into 10 to minus 34 joules second. So we just substitute all those values for this. We substitute for this. We substitute for for this, 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 this. All given values substituted on calculation. What we end up is 10 days to 6 meters per second. Not to forget that once we uh, do the calculation, it's V square. So we have got to. Now this is the velocity. So V square. So we have got to take root of the entire solution. All right. So we get this value. So that's how we calculate. So it's quite easy. I hope you have understood what I have explained. Let's see what I have got in my next video to explain in photoelectric current. Alright. See you then.